I'm glad to see that various organizations within the city of Milwaukee are finally starting to work together in earnest. There's always been these superficial attempts, et cetera, but I'm, I'm really now proud to see it's working in earnest. I take great pride in being a Hispanic American. But at the end of the day, I am American. And I mean, we're all like that. We all came from the same place. By the grace of God, hopefully we'll all wind up in the same place. But, you know, wherever ills befall one community, they will invariably impact them all. So I, I think it's really important. And, and I think most of the people in Milwaukee finally caught on to this. We need to start addressing our problems as our one community. Um, you know, a great example of that is the relationship um, we've built with Milwaukee's Jewish community. Um, we successfully formed our Latino Jewish Alliance. And what's been surprising, and it shouldn't have been, was when we sat down um, representatives from Milwaukee's Jewish community and our Hispanic community. The more and more we talk, the more we find that our issues are the same. Regardless of socioeconomic status, of our, our heritage, our, our lineage, etc., we still face the same issues. They actually had a group come in um, from Israel, a group of women activists, and we sat them down with a number of individuals or ladies from our LULAC Women's Commission. And point after point, the troubles, the challenges they faced were identical. So I think today's too much of the time we 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 try to focus on what separates us besides you know instead of just really opening our eyes and see what so much you know what are those things that really bind us so as I look at Milwaukee right now um, uh, I see tremendous opportunity yet I see tremendous challenge right now if if you go downtown you're going to see a beautiful new stadium being built with the box with center coal support and, and some public money there. You're going to see the new uh, Northwestern Mutual building going up. You're going to see the Couture building going up. So you see all of this new revitalization or renaissance, some people are calling it in Milwaukee, which is wonderful. Sadly, on the other side, what I'm hearing from CEO after CEO is that Milwaukee, for as many unemployed that we have here, that they simply don't have the basic skills to be employed at any of these opportunities. So I'll come back to the challenge of education. And there are things we need to do in the short term and the long term, but we need to get that under control. We need to get parents involved. We need to get our state legislators committed. We got to get our administrators and our teachers union working together. Because it's only when we work together that we will be able to take advantage of this opportunity and drive future growth and make sure our one community becomes everything we know and hope and dream it can be. In this election cycle, I think everyone can agree it's become a very challenging time, a very divisive time. I know we're getting calls here of acts of violence against Latinos and others referencing rhetoric made by one of the candidates. America's crowning achievement, source of pride, should be our elections and putting the best we have to offer to represent us to exercise good judgment in the implementation of good governance. I am challenged, I'm worried that when I sit down and I watch the news with my son, my eight-year-old son, that he said, Dad, how can he be running for president and also saying, it's okay to hit and punch and kick those other people? We should aspire to greatness. What has held us, what has led us to become one of the great nations, if not the greatest nation in the world's ever known, was the principles embedded in our Constitution that ensure human dignity for all, that we're all created equal with inalienable rights. So when our country has been troubled in the past and faced challenges, 
It's falling back on these principles and remembering them that has made us great. Not attacking them, not disavowing them, not misinterpreting them. So I guess I just would like to encourage everyone to vote and to remember our nation's principles and to remember your own family story before casting the vote that you're, you'll be co casting here in the November elections.